Hi friends, today I am going to talk about one of the most common problems I face while growing orchids, especially in my climate in Kerala, India. It is a tropical climate which is very hot and most of the times dry. So one of the most common problems that results in damage to the orchid is spider mite. There are two to three types of uh, spiders that attack orchids. Uh, but today I am going to talk about one of the spiders that cause severe damage to your orchids and that is two spotted spider or the red spider mite. So first of all, uh, I am going to talk about how you can identify your orchid is having that problem. The problem with these spiders is that you can identify the problem only late because only when the spider produces damages to the orchid. And how we can identify is that the leaves will have silvery spots on the top of the leaves. Sometimes these silver spots can join together and form yellowish color and later that change to brown color spots. So in this plant you can see there are silver colored spots all over the leaves. So these are due to spider mites and on the underside of the leaves you can see red powdery particles these are the red spiders so this these spiders can attack your plants and damage your plants very fast so it is so important to identify this problem as early as possible because even this can spread diseases like viral diseases and the severely damaged leaves will turn yellow and will fall off like this so it is so important to identify this problem early because if you are keeping your plants together this can spread to other plants these spiders these can spread other diseases also like bacterial disease or viral disease and how the spider attacks your plant is that that will feed on the chlorophyll of the plant that's why the leaves appear silvery or the green color of the leaf disappears after it attacks the orchid. And these spiders are prone to attack orchids in hot and dry climates. So whenever the temperature is high and the humidity is low, the spiders can attack orchids. Another way to identify you, whether you have a spider mite attack or not is that you can take a tissue paper and wipe the underside of the leaf where you see that red spots and even after that when you see the tissue paper you will see red tiny spots on the tissue paper. Those are the spiders. So if we can enlarge and see you can see the spiders moving. So this is one way to identify whether you have you, your orchid is having that problem so now what we have to do when your orchid has a spider mite problem first of all you have to isolate your orchid if you are keeping your orchid in a, along with other orchids you keep, take the orchid and keep it in another place separately and then you have to uh, apply some solutions for its treatment the solution which can be made at home before that let me say how the uh, spiders attack your orchids so first they will uh, lay eggs and their eggs will hatch and they will increase their population and they will feed on the chlorophyll of the plant so when you are giving treatment to this plant the treatment given or the solution given only once it's not enough because whenever you give the solution it will kill only the adult spiders so the eggs which are already there will hatch and that will again attack your plant so uh, after one week you have to reapply the solution or if this if it is not solving your problem again you have to apply it twice or thrice to save your orchid so 
to make that solution here i have taken a spray bottle which is one and a half liters i've taken one liter of water in it and then you can add any type of soft oil this here i can have taken johnson and johnson baby oil 10 ml of the oil is needed you can uh, also use neem oil but coconut oil you should not use then you should add some two to three drops of dishwash soap to that mix and mix it well then spray it all over your plant especially the underside of leaf you should cover all the parts of your plant ex except the roots spray it thoroughly you should do it preferably in the morning time because this plant has to be kept in a very ventilated place otherwise the solution can cause rot or damage to the plant then repeat the application after one week Here I am using neem oil soap solution to a kettle orchid. So how you can prevent the spider attack is that if your temperature is too hot, you cannot do anything about the temperature. So you can control the humidity. You should keep the medium properly watered. If you are not watering the medium frequently so it will be dry so the humidity around the plant will be low so that can also induce spider mites so that is one thing you can do to prevent the spider mites and you have to inspect your plants frequently so that you can identify the problem so early and treat it and one more thing is the leaves which are already damaged will not recover or they will be they will remain the same or they will uh, become yellow and fall off those are affected leaves and the parts of the orchids will not recover and what we are doing is preventing further damage to the orchid by giving it a treatment so in my opinion this is one of the most common problem that 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 might damage your plant it, so it is very important to identify early and the treatment is very easy Hope this video is helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye.